Hey everyone. Well, I finally got my order from Traveler's Company here in the U.S. So um, they found, they released the 2025, um, you know, diary and the pencil boards and folders. So I went ahead and purchased, and this was on October 1st when they had um, released everything. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. So I did spend over, I think, what was it? What is it? 75, I think you have to spend to get um, the free shipping. So yes, I did reach that um, minimum, I guess <laughs> you could say. So I went ahead and just ordered a bunch because I wanted to just go ahead and just make it worth, you know, ordering. So the first item here, so the first, I'm not sure, I think 25, not 25, maybe 100 people or something were able to get this leather tag. Um, this year's theme is love and trip. And I love that it is, you know, in rose gold foil. It's really nice. I'm going to try to, I'm going to decide which TN I'm going to put it on. I mean, um, yeah, not sure yet. So what we have here is the main reason why I made my order, which was to get the passport diary. So this is the weekly. And the reason why I ordered this year, because I normally don't order this, is that I was going from my Hobonichi weeks to the passport traveler's notebook because I wanted to, um, you know, change it up and do my fitness journaling or um, tracking in this instead. So um, let's go ahead and open it. Actually, no, I'm not going to open it yet because I'm going to take pictures of everything and then I'll do a setup. So I got that and I purchased some more stuff for the passport. So let's go ahead and just get this one out of the way. So here is the gorgeous pencil board. Um, and as I said, the theme this year is love and trip. And I love collecting these. I've been collecting them since 2018, I think. Um, yeah, and I always make sure to get um, both the passport and the standard size. So I don't think I'm going to use it because I have um, I have another one. I don't think it's Traveler's Notebook, but it's passport size that I'm going to use because I like to keep these pristine. And then I also got the folder, the clear folder, but... Um, I am not sure if I'm going to use it as well. We'll see. It depends. Actually, I might not because I just realized that I did get, I think I got the craft folder. So <clears throat> yes, I did right here. So this is the craft folder. And um, I'm going to use this to put like any other loose stickers that I'm going to use in here. In this, I got the sticker release um, paper, the uh, insert. And I have like, two of these already for my standard and I haven't used it yet. So it'll be fun to try this because in my Hobonichi weeks, I have the strips that I use of stickers and you know, they're in there, but they're just loose and they sometimes fall out or get in the way. So I figured this will be a better option. I um, went ahead and picked up the connecting rubber bands. Now, I mean, I have elastic string that I can use, but I kind of wanted to keep it, you know, all uniform. So I've never ordered for the passport. So that's my first time getting it. And then of course I did get just one insert, regular insert, and this is the grid. And I like that it's green because it'll look really nice with the brown. So those are the ones I got for the passport. Um, I also picked up this, um, my first time getting the leather pen holder. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I think I'm going to use it for the um, passport this time. Um, I probably will order maybe two to try with um, this and then with another TN. But I'm going to hold off on ordering that until December when they release the uh, USA Limited Edition, the Caravan one. So I just wanted to see how, you know, how it looked on the TN. And then I also got the um, airplane one of the brass clip. I already have the other brass clip, but I wanted to go ahead and, you know, have both. So 
I will probably clip this on my Delphonics. Um, I don't really use it in the insert unless I'm um, like, you know, like kind of like knee deep in the insert and I'm doing stuff. Oh, that's probably the only time I'd use it. Um, but yeah, it's more for decorative than it is for <laughs> using. So we got that. And then this is all the standard size. And once again, <laughs> I don't know when they're going to update the Traveler Times because this is from 2023 and I have like several of this particular edition. It's kind of annoying. I'd like to know when they're going to finally update it. You know, I've got like one. I'm looking here on the side. Actually, that one. So that's the second one I have. And then I have another one. I think it was the previous one that makes three. So, yeah, they need to get with it and like put out, you know, another version of it. So have that. Put this here. And this is my receipt or shipping um, invoice. So I went ahead and got this is the um, I guess you could call it like the classic repair kit. So you've got the other elastics here. And then you've got the uh, leather bookmark one, which I do need. And then just one of these as a replacement. So um, I think this would look really nice with that. Yeah. And this is the, um, I showed this in my haul before. This is the Ace Hotel. Let me pull that. There you go. And I love the feel of this particular leather. It's so, it feels almost like suede compared to this. I have not conditioned this yet. So this one I have. So I did pick that up. And then here is the standard size pencil board. Of course, Love and Trip. I love the colors on this. It's really, really nice. And then we've got the, um, this is my first time purchasing it, but these are the 2025 Diaries uh, sticker set. Um, I should have bought the ones from last year. I'm, I'm, I probably still can, but I kind of like the way that these look. So I wanted to give it a try since I am going to be using the, you know, the weekly diary um, and just see how it goes. So I got that. And then I also got the, um, the folder and I like the drawings on this. It's so nice. So that's my really, really quick um, TN haul here. So let me take a picture and then I'll be right back because I'm going to go ahead and show you how I set up my passport. Okay, so I'm back. So let's go ahead and get the passport set up. So let me just move everything back. Or rather, out of the way. Okay. So I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to take this insert out. Yeah, see, here we go. That's the one that I've been using. Since I'm already using it, I'm not going to pull out another pencil board from its packaging. Okay, so let me try to figure out uh, how fat or how thick my passport's going to get. Ugh, come on. There we go. Let's see. Okay, that's the guide, which is nice. Oh, that's July to December. Okay. I think I will probably just do one at a time. This is more than enough space for me to be able to put um, the info that I track, like number of steps, the distance, my heart rate, average, and then maximum, or yeah. And then what else do I keep track of? The number of calories that I have burned, and I think that's it. Actually, let me get the band. Um, and then my weight, of course. So maybe I won't do stickers. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I do any kind of stickers, maybe it won't just be the step stickers and the weight stickers because that does kind of bulk it up, especially since I put them in the same area each time. And that's how my 
Hobonichi Wakes kind of bulked up. So, okay. Huh. I see. So let's put this in the middle. I almost didn't film this, this video tonight because I'm pretty exhausted. Um, I did my workout before dinner, had my dinner, and I'm really full. And okay, we'll put this here. And all I wanted to do was just veg in front of the uh, computer watching YouTube. So, but I know I need to film this because I wanted to already go ahead and set this up. Okay. So there it is. So I think I'll put that on the other band. Okay. So let's... Mm, you know what? I won't do the sticker release right now. I'll just do this. This is my first time also ordering a craft folder from Traveler's Factory, or Traveler's Company, because the other craft folders that I have are from, um, what do you call this? They are from other companies. And this one seems pretty nice, like the quality of the craft paper, or cardstock. Okay, wait, did I put the wrong one in? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so I was wondering, it's like, why is there one already in there? Okay, here we go. See, I am tired and it's only Tuesday. I have a long week, work week. Okay, so there we go. I'll fix that and make it flat. Why is it twisted? There. Okay, so we insert it here, okay? Just like that. All right, so there we go. So that's how that's gonna look. And then we're going to put this on. I almost ordered this from uh, Amazon, but then decided not to because I wanted to reach the free shipping. Oh boy, that clip is really hard. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see here. I might have to do this off camera. The problem is, is that I have the trigger thumb. I don't know if you can see. I can't make my thumb straight. I have to go to the doctor and um, ask what's going on with my thumb. It might be because I grip the, um, what do you call it? I grip the, can't even think, treadmill too hard when I'm walking on it. And I must be, you know, pulling against it, pulling my whole weight. Because I've been doing it for more than a year now, and it's only in the last two months that I've developed this. And I can't seem to get it on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I want it there or here. No, it's got to be there. Yeah, it's got to be in the front. Sorry. <laughs> I hit the microphone. Um... problem is, is that I'm dominant in the right hand. So I don't want to aggravate my thumb by pulling any more than I have to. And I'm going to have to do that off camera um, while I'm not recording, but it's supposed to be like that. Anyways, um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really good setup for me because I can bring this with me 
to my doctor appointments and let them know, you know, I'll write on there um, anything in terms of like side effects or, you know, things like that that I'm experiencing. Um, yeah. So it's all, you know, handy for me to bring. Because I did bring, I have a doctor appointment this past Monday and I did bring my Hobonichi. And when my doctor was asking me about certain medications, I was able to look on there and um, tell her, you know, it was on this date or whatnot. So, oh, I need that back, actually. But anyways, that's the uh, setup that I'm going to use for my fitness journal um, for next year. So I'm curious how are you guys setting up your traveler's notebook? Um, leave a comment and let me know. And um, if you have a channel or video, let me know and I'll go and check it out. Okay. All right. So I hope you guys are having a great week and a great day. Bye.